Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we have some very cool updates towards the Random Man 24 that is now available for Blender. So sometime last week we talked about this tool. You know, it was a pretty good rendering show of very nice stuff. I really like the things that the folks at Pixar have done. But then, after testing this for a couple of days, there are some bugs and also some issues that you might be facing that we're going to talk about. Meanwhile, before we talk about that, let's talk about how you can apply textures to this because this is one of those things that i promised you guys in that video so let's talk about that real quick so for you to start working with render man you need to actually install it so there's a whole video that covers how you can do that i'm going to link that in the description install it right click and click on use render man now once you hit on that button if you press on the keyboard you'd notice that you have like the whole render man panel here which you can explore so if you're thinking about adding things like materials to this you can easily do this by clicking with Renderman active, clicking, right clicking, going over to where you have presets and then you can either open up the preset browser or take a look at a long list of presets that exist. But this is you actually working with presets and not creating a material and assigning a texture to the material. So how do you easily, easily do that? Now before you even talk about how you can easily do that, in most cases you might have already created a scene where you have your cycles thing working perfectly for you and you just want to convert it to random man. So what you need to do is you need to go over to edit, go over to preference and within your preference, you need to make sure that you're within your add-on section and let's hit that random man button. So go over to your random man section, make sure that you have convert cycles nodes turned on. Now, once this is turned on and you select any of the object that you already have a cycles node on and you go over to the material section, you can easily convert these nodes and all the subsequent nodes to random man. So to get started, let's take a look at how you can apply a brand new material. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on new to get this here. And if you already activated convert cycles node, you can click right here to convert it or simply click on convert all cycles node to render man to convert everything now with this done we need to add a render man node so let's actually increase or simply raise this editor up and change the timeline editor to a shader editor so with this here now what we can do is we can simply make sure that we have the material selected and then click on add render man nodes so once we do that we can click on this button specify the type of render man node that we'd like to add and click on OK, or you can do that from here by simply right clicking, go over to Render Man, add Render Man Node 3, click, and then specify the shader type that you want. So there's a legacy one, there's a pixel one, and also Llama. Llama is actually the brand new sort of shader that now exists with Render Man and is more of a Material X thing. So this one is a layered sort of surface thingy very similar to what you get with the pixel layer surface and in most cases with other layer surfaces that you might also want to work with so for us to get started with this we are going to simply select the pixel disney and that this is the one we're going to start with now for those who are actually thinking about working with specific shaders there are very specific shaders right here that are the pixel shaders like you can notice that we have the pixel volume the pixel surface uh, the Pixar Disney, the Pixar Disney BSDF, the Pixar Constant, and also the Pixar Black. So you can pick from any of these. And of course, for the hair, you can also notice that we have a hair shader from here. So let's start off with the Pixar Disney. So once we have that selected, click on OK. You would notice that we now have this set to blue. Let's break this down a bit and move right here. All right, so it sets to blue. Now, if you're working more with Blender, how you assign textures is pretty simple, okay? You just simply drag and drop that texture right here and then, you know, you plug this thing to color and you're good to go. But that is not how you work in Render Man. In Render Man, it is a bit Maya-like, okay? So you have to select this node, which is your shader node, and then you need to go over to your material section and within the base color, you need to click on this button. You notice that you have a lot of texture types and also utility tools that you can plug in. So in this case, since we're talking about textures, we'll go over to texture and then we just need the Pixar texture. Click on the Pixar texture to make sure that you have that one ready. And then just like you do in Maya, you need to find the file by loading the file name right here. So if we click on this browser button, we would go in and look for that file so just give me a second let's find that file click on the file and uh accept it okay so we have the file right in so with this file here depending on the model that you're working with the atlas style might differ so for example let's say you're working with mari and you know mari actually works more with udims you might want to set your atlas style to fit into that and if you're working with modbox or you're working with zbrush you might also want to consider changing that so this is going to be very beneficial for those who are working with things like UDIMs. But for sure, if you've already cut your UVs previously, then you're good to go as you can just simply plug this and get going with that. 
Now, this is going to be slightly strange for those working in Blender, you know, primarily, as this actually doesn't give you all of that extra set of things to play with in terms of mapping and actually plugging things and playing with them. So with this ready, you can now proceed to test this out by simply going over to your viewport, right click, go over to render man, render man, and also the IPR. So within the IPR, we can now see what we have here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select this light, add a render man node tree, and then increase this to about 100 and probably set this one to one. And since I would love to get this in a bit more smooth, let's uh, proceed to subdivide this like so, looks good. And then let's make that smooth shape. So you can notice right now that we have this ready to rumble, looking perfectly fine. So if you have other channels that you like to plug into this, of course you can proceed to do that. So if you have channels like your specular, metallic, roughness, sheen, clear coat, and all that, you can plug this in and you can proceed to work with it. So this is basically how you get to work with textures. Now, with that said, if you also have things like displacement, you can proceed to plug in your displacement, but there's actually one thing to keep in mind here, that at any point in time, you're working with these textures, and for some reason, you right click, you go over to render man, and you launch a brand new BXDF, this would suggest that you load a brand new shader in. Now, this shader that you'll be loading in will replace the shader that you currently have. So in this case, if we proceed to select the Llama surface and click on OK, you'll notice it replaces the shader we had previously. And then, just like the previous shader, once you have it selected, you need to go over to your material section to make changes. So just like I said earlier, your Llama shader is more like your layered material shader. So you can click on this button and find the shaders that you like to load in for both the front and for the back and use these things to work. But if you just simply want one single shader, of course, you can simply set this one to one and load in the material that you like to work with. And of course, if you have other colors and maybe you want to control this by a certain fraction, you can use the float slider to control these things. So with this said, let's go in and talk about something that you guys may find issues with. One of the problems that you might get is if you're working on an AMD or maybe you're working on a Mac that actually doesn't have Intel running as its CPU or something in that nature, you may not be able to have the open image denoiser working perfectly. That is one of the problems I got to notice that lots of people have. And just in case you're within the category of people that are experiencing this, that might be why you're experiencing that. The next thing which you might also experience is if you're working on Windows, in most cases, I think like 99.9%, .9%, I don't know if it works for other persons, but I tried this in three to four different computers and it was given exactly the same thing. Once you load in a model that has textures and you proceed to fire up the rendering, this actually comes in blank. Like there's literally nothing there. There's no amount of light or movement that you actually throw into this that makes it work. Everything is the same. And I get to call this shot right now by saying that this tool for some reason for Windows is a bit far from complete. I did notice that a couple of people tried this on Mac and it was working perfectly fine in terms of rendering. But for Windows, uh, this is one of the problems you may face. So I don't know if it's, you know, peculiar or very unique to me, but this is just one of the things that I did notice. But other than that, the next thing which I'll suggest that you do is proceed to save your files before you hit the render button, as this might crash at any given time. One other cool thing which I did notice that makes a lot of sense is, you know, it took a while for us to get some rendering engines to support things like your geometry node, but by simply using these two right here, the geometry node just, you know, it just works. For some reason, it just works perfectly fine. So in this case, let's say we get a point instance. Let's get that and uh, we're just going to plug that in there. And we can also get our points distribute and uh, we're just going to plug that in here as well. Okay. And in this case, we would also get the object which we would like to load in and that's it right there. And of course, you can notice it's rendering super cool, all right? It renders really, really, really nice. So let's also get our point scaling. So I'm just gonna go into PS and get a point scale and we can plug that point scale right in here. And uh, yeah, so we have this one going. Let's make sure that we have this set to vector and we can also increase how much we want this thing to be. And maybe we can do something like that. You know, crazy stuff just works. For some reason, this just simply works. And contrary to what we would actually consider as issues previously, this works perfectly fine. So this is more like it. For those who like to test this thing out, maybe you want to see what it looks like. Probably you want to test it and, you know, check it out for yourself. I'm going to put a link in the description where you can download it and test out a couple of things that you can do with it. 
Of course, we did mention this earlier that this tool is supported for Blender 2.92 and also Blender 2.83. So just in case, you know, you're wondering how can I get it or what and what do I need to keep in mind before testing this? These are a couple of things that you need to consider before jumping right in. So tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so that you don't miss the next video or the next update. And if I see you guys again with a tutorial update, free Friday, tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.